Hi everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm sharing our family's classic beef stew. It is so hearty and flavorful and the beef is so tender, it just melts in your mouth. In a large oven safe pot, preferably a Dutch oven, we're gonna saute six ounces of chopped bacon. Stir that over medium heat until it's golden brown and the fat is released, then remove it to a separate dish. While the bacon is cooking, stir together two pounds of chopped beef with half a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a quarter cup of flour. Stir that together until the beef is evenly coated. Transfer half of the beef into the hot bacon fat and cook over medium-high heat or until the beef is browned, about three minutes per side. Add a little more olive oil if needed, then add the second half of the beef and cook until browned. Transfer the browned beef to the bowl with the bacon. Add two cups of good red wine to the pot and bring it to a boil, scraping the bottom to deglaze the pot. Add one pound of thickly sliced mushrooms and simmer over medium heat for 10 minutes. Roughly chop up four carrots into half inch thick pieces. Also dice one medium yellow onion and chop four garlic cloves. Place a large nonstick skillet over medium high heat and add two tablespoons of olive oil, then add the sliced carrots, diced onion, and chopped garlic. Saute that for four minutes, stirring frequently. Once the onions are soft, add a tablespoon of tomato paste and saute another minute, then transfer the veggies to the pot. Add four cups of beef broth and season with two bay leaves, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Add the beef and bacon back to the pot, then stir in one pound of small potatoes. You can cut these in halves or quarters, depending on how large they are. You want bite-sized pieces. Stir to combine and make sure the potatoes are submerged in liquid. Cover with a tight-fitting lid, then transfer to a preheated oven and bake at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour and 45 minutes. Oh yes, <laughs> just in time for dinner. And I am ready because the smell in my house is making me so hungry. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Are you ready? <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Mm, okay, and then before I serve it, I like to skim off the extra fat. It makes it just a little bit healthier. And you don't really need that extra oil on top. And it's super easy to do. Just tilt your pot and spoon it off. Okay. And, very important, I always love to add a little bit of garnish because it adds that fresh pop of color and flavor. And so I've got a little bit of parsley here. You can use dill if you like dill. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, and this is just loaded with all the good stuff. It is so hearty, and it's really a meal in itself. I like to serve it with a fresh, crusty French bread. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that sound gets me every time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, and that beef is just fall apart tender. My spoon goes right through it. Okay, and this is still really hot, so. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a good dinner. <laughs> Literally that beef just melts in your mouth. And there's so much flavor. Adding the wine to the broth just really elevates the flavors and put, pulls them all together. So good, I cannot wait to eat this for dinner. And my kids love it, which is like major win for mom. <laughs> and it's fancy enough for a nice dinner party. This seriously has really, really good flavor. Such a cozy thing for winter. And if you're not a mushroom lover, you can still enjoy this because if you thickly slice the mushrooms, they are easy to avoid. And if you love the mushrooms, <laughs> I love thick, thick sliced mushrooms. All right, I am gonna go call my kids for dinner because I'm hungry. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give me a great big thumbs up below. And if there are any videos you'd like to see on our channel in the future, let me know in a comment below and we'll see you next time. Hey, before you go, if you are a meat lover, check out some of our favorite hearty dishes right over here and right down there. 
and click below to subscribe. And when you do, click that little bell icon so you get notifications every time, and I mean every time we post a new recipe. Thanks for watching.